Hi Capricorn, this is your October 30th through November 5th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the love from the past. Spread after that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week spread. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have uh, the Three of Cups clarified by the Six of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Star. Then we have the Ace of Swords. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the the Devil <laughs> and the Hierophant. And uh, we have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with um, Sagittarius, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, uh, Cancer, perhaps even another Capricorn or any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Not only is it a general reading, it's a very specific reading. I can tell you how you could meet this person or w under what circumstances. Um, we start with the Three of Cups, clarified by the Six of Wands, and we also have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. The Chariot could be a Cancer you're dealing with, but there are two cards in the Tarot deck that could be interpreted as, as cards of victory, success, recognition, triumph, being awarded, rewarded, recognized, promoted, being welcomed, and uh, that type of deal. Right, and both of those two cards are on the table, right? The Six of Wands and the Chariot are those two cards. The Three of Cups that the Six of Wands is uh, clarifying. The Three of Cups is a card of uh, celebration. So yeah, I know it's going to sound weird for some of you, but you're going to meet this person at some kind of an award ceremony. Or you will be a part of a parade. <laughs> or you'll be, uh, like, you will turn, you will, you will, end up at some kind of an event and uh, this person will be congratulated or it could be happening to you Capricorn right but there's definitely somebody being recognized or awarded or rewarded or something like that perhaps uh, a new person is gonna start at your workplace and uh, uh, they hired this person and they really need this person on board because they know they're this person is like a unique They've got like a unique set of skills or something and they're throwing like a welcome party. Something among those lines. But somebody here is definitely being recognized or something among those lines. I hope that makes sense. And that's how you will meet this person. <laughs> okay. Um, right next to the Three of Cups we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the star. Right? The Wheel of Fortune... Um, could be a Sagittarius, you know, but the Wheel, of, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle, a very fortunate new cycle, right? The star clarifying it is a card of a wish come true, right? And uh, this is something usually people usually wish for or hope for for a long, very long time. And I think this is where uh, the beginning comes in between you and this person, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, the star, and the Ace of Swords, yeah, I think you guys are hitting the ground running, right? The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. The Ace of Swords is the word yes, by the way. And uh, with the Ace of Swords, nobody is fooling or playing around. With the Ace of Swords, people usually tell the truth. People tell how it is. People are very upfront, straightforward. And uh, it's also a card of a brand spanking new beginning. All right. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the uh, the Devil and the Hierophant. Right. The the Devil is your major arcana card, Capricorn. You are in your own potential outcome, represented here by your major arcana card. Right. The Ace of Pentacles uh, to the left from you is the second Ace. This card often comes through as a proposal, and I think exactly that's exactly what it is here. All right. The Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to start a family, ready to get serious. Right, and uh, the Hierophant right next to the deck could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual card, educational card. So yeah, I don't see this taking too long for the two of you to get to uh, the cards we have in the potential outcome. And it kind of depends on you, right? In, in some sh shape or form it will de depend on you because you are in your own potential outcome but uh, yeah just be on the lookout for the circumstances that I was talking to you in the beginning some kind of a rewards award <laughs> ceremony or, or a parade or recognition or something like that and uh, the rest is history all right hopefully all of this makes sense Capricorn I, I know it's very specific but that's how you'll know all right, really happy for you, Capricorn. Congratulations. Capricorn, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have um, the Two of Wands, the World, the Nine of Cups, uh, clarified by the Knight of Cups, and we have the Magician 
on the bottom of the deck. Um, you know what? I got to be honest with you, Capricorn. The very first thing I thought of was uh, somebody here is retiring. <laughs> it could be you. It could be your significant other. It could be uh, someone you know. You, one of your parents could be retiring. Um, or some other chapter is coming to an end. And this is something you always wanted or manifested, right? And now that this is done, uh, you can, um, like... Focus on each other, focus on love, focus on what's good for you, focus on pleasure, <laughs> uh, focus on love for one another. That's how it feels. It's like retirement, <laughs> right? The, the magician on the bottom of the deck is a card of manifestation. So I think you wanted this, you manifested this. Uh, the tail one's the first card that came out. I think this is a card of somebody who is trying to make a decision, right? It is a card of a choice, it is a card of somebody who is in the process of... Uh, uh, making a choice or making a decision, right? And here comes the world. The decision is to end it, to finish something. I don't think your relationship or marriage are coming to an end. No, it's something else. You could be, sub like I said, one of you could be retiring, you could be deciding to move, downsize your home, or just relocate. But uh, the world uh, is my uh, happy end card. It is a card of an ending, but I usually interpret it as uh, one chapter coming to an end and a new, better, happier chapter is about to begin. And what comes next is the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups. You know, it's, it's a wish come true, right? The Nine of Cups is a wish come true, whereas the Magician is a card of manifestation. The Nine of Cups is a card of wish granted. It's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. Uh, the Knight of Cups clarifying it is the most romantic, the most loving knight out of all four knights. So I think post-factorum you do have all, all this time to focus on love, focus on what's good for both of you, and things like that. Um, you know, perhaps if you have adult children, maybe they're moving out, <laughs> and you're like, okay, so you're out, now we can spend more time to, with one another, not, not uh, focusing on the child because the child is always around. All right, so, so let me know what's going on here, but this feels, this feels good, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Capricorn, uh, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have uh, the Ten of Swords, uh, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Cups. We also have the Fool and uh, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Aries on the table. So you got this King of Cups coming back to you with a very serious proposition. <laughs> and perhaps they thought about it long and hard, and uh, something is going to trigger this person to come back to you this week. It's like something, they're, they're gaining some kind of clarity. Perhaps it could be as simple as uh, they will finally realize you're the one. Okay, well, we do start with the Ten of Swords, right, which is a card of an abrupt ending. I don't think this is what happened between the two of you. What's coming to an, uh, an end this week is that Eight of Swords clarifying it, right? The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is stuck, trapped in their own thoughts, in their own mind. <laughs> For some of you, this person could be getting out of jail unexpectedly on a parole, but that's just for very, very few of you. <laughs> Okay. But for, for most of you, yeah, perhaps they thought about it long and hard and they were just um, not sure what they had to do, but this week they will. All right, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck um, is a card of clarity. This is them coming back to you um, and being very upfront, very straightforward with you. The King of Cups themselves is clarified by the Ten of Cups. This is what they want. The Ten of Cups is a card of a commitment of marriage. And the Fool right next to the deck, I usually interpret it as a card of a second chances when it comes to X spread. Right? With the Fool, this is when uh, people say, let's just leave what happened between the two of us in the past in the past and start from clean slate. It's going to be up to you Capricorn what you want to do about this. Um, in case if you're wondering if this person is ready for a commitment, yes they are and you'll know it because they'll tell you with that Ace of Swords. It's up to you, however you want to handle this. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances Capricorn this week. Uh, we have uh, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Ones, the Sun 
and the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, not the Capricorn. We also have uh, Leo on the table. You know what? I did not even want to clarify anything, because this is straight to the point. This is as straightforward as it gets, Capricorn. Especially if um, you could use some extra cash, if you barely make ends meet, or if you're waiting for a job offer for money to come your way, a government assistance, what have you, if you're waiting for something, or if you're not doing very that well financially, right? This will most likely apply to you. Because um, you got money coming your way. You have a message or a notification, an email, a phone call, a letter with that page of ones, the, the second card, right? This is that notification, right? And uh, what's in it is the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Money! <laughs> or an offer, a job offer, or a promotion, or, um, or a raise. You know, the Five of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is a card of somebody who is not doing good financially. And uh, the last card right next to the deck is the Sun. It's the happiest card in the deck. So now that you're getting the money or you're getting notification and the money is in the way, yeah, you'll be extremely happy about this. So see, <laughs> tarot is easy, right? The Five of Pentacles, not having enough money, page of one's message. The sun, happiness because of the message, and the knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck is what's in the message. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Piece of cake, right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Capricorn. We have the six of cups, the chariot, uh, the queen of pentacles, clarified by the sun, and uh, we have the king of swords on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have uh, Cancer and Leo on the table. What you're not expecting is this king of swords showing back up. You already know who this is. Okay, so it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. And they're coming back with that six of cups, the first card I came out. It doesn't have to be an X. And it... Uh, for, for, I think for most of you it's just someone from your past. You know, it could be an ex, then you have exes lining up outside your door. <laughs> right? But for most of you I think it's just someone from your past with that six of cups. Okay, then we have the chariot. The chariot in this case, I think this is them literally showing back up. You know, perhaps they're back in town. And uh, I think you're going to be really happy to see this person or ca to catch up with this person. Right? And uh, they may offer you to go somewhere together with them, right? With that chariot card. But uh, you're the Queen of Pentacles, and uh, as I was clarifying, the Queen of Pentacles, I simply asked how will uh, Capricorn feel about this, and the sun showed up. Like literally, the sun came out. <laughs> it's the happiest card in the deck. Capricorn. I don't know what it says to you, but you'll be happy to see them. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe, and uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week.